about Hoops. We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Jefferson Football, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team tied at the half against Sharando, but fell apart in the second half, falling 42 to 14 against the Warriors to fall to 0 and 2 on the season. Just tell us uh, what your thoughts were about that game. What went well? What didn't go well? Uh, you know, I, I thought um, coming out of uh, week one, I, I saw a lot of improvements from our team. I saw first half, uh, getting after it, uh, playing hard. We made plays. Uh, we made stops. Uh, we were able to do a lot of things um, better. Um, like you said, I thought the second half, there, was some, there were a couple few things that happened that, that swung the momentum a little bit. And I think after that, we just kind of just kind of fell apart after that. Um, you know, we're still working through that part. Uh, right now, um, you know, every day, like I said, every day is an opportunity for us to get better. Every week is an opportunity for us to get better. Um, and that's what we're going to strive to do each day and each week is get better and play better each week. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully us by us doing that, um, it will come away with a win. Coach, you said your team showed some improvements. In what areas do you think you uh, really improved? Uh, I thought we were able to sustain drives, uh, move the ball, um, show our big play capability. Um, I thought we were able to get stops. We, did, we tackled better in the first half. Um, so I thought we did uh, those things uh, better than the first game. Uh, so, you know, we just got to keep pressing forward, keep moving on, and um, things will continually get better for the team as long as we keep working in this trend. Maybe not as fast as people would like for it to happen, but it's happening. What were some, I guess, other things that really stood out to you in that game against Sharando? Uh, as far as us, um, you know, like I said, I thought we you were able to get the ball in the hands of our, our big playmakers. So you saw you saw Tony Allen catch a ball at a distance. We were able to get the running game going. You saw Tayshawn uh, Roper have a I think it was like a twenty or thirty yard run for a touchdown. Uh, the blocking was better. So, you know, tackling was better. We were able to get stops, make them punt, uh, get interceptions. So we were able to turn them over. So, you know, there's things that we saw that, that we were able to, you know, to push forward on and hang our hat on to, to go to positives to go into this week against Spring Valley. Coach, obviously your team's had a solid start in terms of the schedule being a pretty tough schedule. Um I guess just to rephrase, uh, your team starts 0-2 for the first time since 2020, but it's been a tough schedule. So how do you, I guess, keep the team in a positive mindset set, uh, since you haven't really been used to this kind of start in a while? Uh, you know, just you keep everything in perspective. You know, we know it's a tough schedule. We know the first four games on our schedule um, are extremely hard or extremely tough games. Um, we know. That, you know, and I always like this. I mean, it's a saying I always say, nothing's as good as it seems, nothing's as bad as it seems. Somewhere in the middle, reality falls. So, you know, nothing right now is as bad as it seems right now. We just got to keep getting better each day. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll start to see victories come about. Um, it's just a matter of, of us getting better. And we're still, I mean, we're still got some, got some veterans sprinkled in there, but we're still a pretty, a pretty young team. We got a lot of kids on this team that haven't, haven't had much varsity playing time. So, you know, um, they're still trying to figure some things out. You know, we're figuring out uh, what we'll put them in the best situations uh, to make them all successful and how to get the ball in the hands of guys um, who can do great things for us. So, I mean, everybody hasn't, everybody hasn't had a lot, of, a lot of varsity playing time. So, you know, we're starting, if we're starting right now, we're right at this point in time, I think, on – Friday, I think it was one point in time we only had one senior on the offensive line that whole game. The rest were sophomores and juniors. So, you know, uh, they're young and they're getting it. They're starting to get it. They're getting it and they're playing better. Any final thoughts, Coach, about last Friday's game? If not, we'll jump to Saturday afternoon's game at Spring Valley. Nah, it's last, I mean, it's last week. We got to move forward. We got Spring Valley now. So, I can't get that, we can't get that game back. So, we just – Take what we can get the positives, fix the negatives, and move forward on the Spring Valley. All right. Let's talk about that game then. What are your early thoughts about your opponent? Um, I'm a strong team. I mean, they've always been they've they've had a good, uh, successful program over the years. Um, 
you know, we've been fortunate enough to be able to, to be able to win some of those games, but they've always been a formidable opponent. I mean, they're tough. They're going to be physical. Uh, you know, they, they seem like they've uh, got more added speed this year. The Abercrombie kid is phenomenal. Uh, we want to make sure we know where he is on the field. So, I mean, they're just they're just a good all-around ball team. So, you know, we're going to have our hands full going down there and making the travel down there uh, to get a win on, on their home turf. Coach, uh, this is a trip now that you've kind of gotten used to in terms of heading into the Huntington area for – uh, playoff games, this one a, a regular season matchup between your two teams. What do you like about the trip? What are some things that you can uh, build just in terms of team chemistry and then uh, what are some of the challenges of going on a long trip oh, like this? Oh, there is nothing I like about this trip. <laughs> there is nothing. It's a it's a six hour trip on a bus. Um, you know, I guess um, I mean it is what it is. You got to do it. Everybody travels, so you got to do it. Um can do like I told the kids yesterday when we were watching film and going through uh, game plan install. It, when we step on the bus Friday morning, it's a business trip. Uh, we're on a business trip, so we need to go down here and handle business. Uh, the thing is, you do get to learn more about your kids on trips like this, how they handle stuff. Uh, four times when it's a possibility in the playoffs where you're having to travel again, I, I handle this situation, uh, what they're going to do. Um, you know, so those are the things you look for. But, I mean, taking a six-hour trip, I don't know anybody that likes a six-hour trip to go play a game, whether it be high school or college or whatever. I mean, you'd rather be at home. You'd rather be sleep, have your kids sleep in their own bed, be relaxed, you know, um, things that are familiar. But the good thing is, like you said, we've been down here twice before. Uh, we, have a, we have a routine that we'll go through because we know how to do this. So we can keep the kids in the routine. We know how we're going to eat, where we're going to stay. Uh, all that stuff is taken care of. So, I mean, those things, so it keeps it kind of kind of regimented for the kids that it's not all loose and they're just all over the place. But, you know, uh, like I said, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know anybody that cares to make a six-hour trip to play a game but with a bunch of high school kids. What are uh, the main things that you guys are focused in on this week, not only for the game coming up on Saturday against Spring Valley, but uh, for the season as a whole that you guys feel like you need to hit on again? Once again, just focusing on getting better. I mean, that's the main thing. Cleaning up the mistakes that we've seen the week before, which I thought we cleaned up. I thought we cleaned up some of the mistakes we saw from the Spring Mills game. Um, cleaning up the mistakes uh, from the from the Sarando game and, and playing instead of playing a half, putting it into what well, I would say two and a third of a game, putting it together and playing a full game like we played in the first half. Um, if we played a full game like we played the first half, you just, we don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's uh, the main thing, putting the whole game together, cleaning up the mistakes, and just playing with a lot of a lot of um, energy, playing with a lot of energy, passion, uh, throwing things like that, and just getting after it. I mean, that's the main thing. You just got to get after it. Um, so I, I think the, the the young men are starting to understand it a little bit better. They're, they're clicking a little bit better. They're getting, they're getting to know each other a lot better um, and understand uh, their assignments a lot better for the young guys. Um, so I see a lot of growth from the first scrimmage until, until now. So I'm, um, I'm confident, I'm confident in, in what this team's going to be able to do as the season goes on. And Coach, when you look at their first two games for Spring Valley, a 55-20 win and a 63-48 loss, so clearly a lot of offense in their games. Uh, what do you think or what stands out to you about their offense that you've seen? Uh, a little bit of balance. I mean, they're going to run the ball. Uh, they will run the ball and throw the ball in balance. Um uh, like I said, you know, we got to make sure we know where the um, where the Amber Crombie is on the field at all times. That's their that's he's their home run guy. So they're going to the ball in his hands. They're going to try to get him at least 15 touches a game. Uh, so we just got to make sure we know where he is, uh, limit his big play capability, and uh, you know, just pretty much and definitely try to uh, shut down the running game. All right, Coach, any other thoughts? If not, I guess we'll get to the uh, fun question. 
No, I'm good. Let's get to the front question. I want to see what it is this week. All right. This week uh, it is, if you were to win the lottery, what would be the uh, first thing you'd use the money for, buy, and why? I mean, I pay my bills off. <laughs> That's what I would do. I pay my bills off. That's the first thing so I can be debt-free. That'd be the first thing I would do. Um that's it. That's, that's that's number one. I like the well thought answer, Coach. The adult answer. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing that came to my mind. That's not even <laughs> that's not <my> question. <laughs> All right, Coach Hunter. Thank you. All right, thank y'all. Appreciate you. Yep. Good luck this week. Yep. Good luck.